Oregon's child welfare system is making some big changes in the way it protects some of the state's smallest residents from abuse and neglect. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Templeman. And I'm Renee McCullough. Lane County is one of the first in the state to implement this new system through the Department of Human Services. KZI 9 News reporter Jessica Devis is live in the studio to tell us more about the revamped model in our top story tonight at 5 o'clock. Jessica? Well, Matt and Renee, thanks to the approval of $23.7 million in the 2013 legislative session, DHS Child Welfare will be able to give the families the support they need to take care of their children. They're hoping to ultimately reduce the number of kids in foster care and keep families together. Uh, recently we helped a young woman who has had two children and she was pregnant with a third child. As a result of domestic violence, she became homeless. Tom Mulhern with Catholic Community Services says the woman was eventually able to keep custody of her children after someone with the church helped her get the support she needed. In the right circumstances, providing support and resources together can help families provide a safe environment. The scenario is similar to the new model now being adopted by the state's child welfare program. It's called the differential response. It's not the solution for every case, but can help those willing to eliminate any threat to their children immediately. Most families know they're struggling and they want to do what's right for their children and they want help. So instead of opening a case with the child welfare system, the new model allows DHS to assess the problem and find a fix. For Lane County, one of three counties first to implement the idea, the problem is poverty. So some of the services we're purchasing is housing, but some of it's subsidized, but also it's the case management around that. How do you help these families find permanent, stable housing so they don't have to move and their kids aren't uprooted? you know, from time to time. And it's not just housing. Funds can also go to alcohol and drug rehab or employment services. Most importantly, this panel of experts will tell you it's a community effort to serve a family's needs. So families get in a situation where they just don't have the resources to provide adequate care for their, their children. They're in crisis. DHS managers say they picked Klamath, Lake, and Lane counties to implement the program first to get a wide variety of input from rural to urban and from small, medium, and large areas before implementing the system statewide. Live in the studio, Jessica Davis, KEZI 9 News.